the University of Sharjah has been established in 1997 by His Highness Sheikh Dr. Sultan Mohammed Al Qasimi. His vision is to make this university in the top well known universities regionally and internationally. Therefore, in 2013, when we were talking about strengthening the university internationally, we talked about many projects. So one of the projects was to establish Sharjah Center for Astronomy and Space Sciences. For more than 10 centuries, uh, the Islamic civilization was a civilization of science. You know, for every civilization, there is uh, what you call the, a period of flourishment. So the Greeks were before the Muslims, uh, the Babylonians were before the Greeks, and every civilization took from the other, they benefit from each other. We have preserved it in our books, honey, but we didn't stop there. We went from there to uh, bring out some new theories, uh, to bring out uh, some new understanding of the universe, which called the, the Muslim contribution uh, to science. So, uh, that's why uh, this center has a key role in order to promote this uh, uh, science that was a little bit forgotten during the past century, something like that. So it is very important to have it, to let people at least and you know again uh, what is astronomy. So there's some kind of a revival. This center is, it was for training, for research, for education, for tourism, for public awareness. Uh, we are building uh, five laboratories, uh, one GIS, a remote sensing lab, uh, one radio astronomy laboratory, uh, a CubeSat lab, we're going to build those small CubeSat 10 by 10 centimeters, which we call them uh, 1U. We have also uh, the ionospheric laboratory and also the meteorite center. All of these labs are what you call the, uh, the key labs. The sun and the moon are our main uh, celestial objects for the uh, daily uh, five uh, prayers and also for the, for the determination of the beginning of the Islamic month. So uh, uh, one good example of that is, um, is the observatory, which is one key component uh, in, in the Islamic civilization. In the old days, the observatory was everything. Place where uh, people would go to worship, to pray, was also an observatory. Why? Because the one who was regulating the five daily prayers was an astronomer. So he was responsible for setting the times of the prayer. He was also responsible for setting uh, to call the beginning of the Islamic month, which is he was the one responsible for setting the whole Islamic lunar calendar for the whole year. That's why the mosque was an essential part. Things started for sure when uh, advances were made in astronomy, so they needed a separate place to do the observation. That's why the observatory saw light, and it saw light the first time in history in the Islamic world. That's why we have this center. It is uh, the largest in the Middle East, and it has everything for someone to come uh, and feel that we are doing something uh, very important uh, for the future. Uh, of astronomy and space sciences.